So welcome to your second Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you around the UI and we'll also be creating a basic form. So here we have, this is the uh, UI and if you don't know what a UI is, it's basically the interface that you use. So all your buttons, the way it's laid out, everything like that. So if we have a look at the top here, we've got our main toolbar and we've got new project, open, add new item. This add new, uh, this add new item button, we'll, we can use that to create new forms, things like that. But we'll get onto that in a future tutorial. And here you have save, save all, cut, copy, paste, find. We don't need to worry about this. Undo, redo. This button just starts our application so we can test it. And then this one stops it when we're finished. Don't need to worry about what these are at the moment. And I'll show you what these are in a minute. Now here you have the toolbox and this is going to show all your items that you can drag into your form and over here you have the solution explorer and the properties and you can lay it out like this you can drag these around move them around but I suggest you use this layout because we're going to need all three of these toolbars and if they're not open for some reason you can open them here so solution explorer properties toolbox and you don't need these three here so Here's the start page and you've got some options here and you've got new project, open project. This will show your 10 recent projects I think that is and over here you've got getting started so you've got a few tutorials, first application and what's new and then you've got learn and upgrade but you don't need to upgrade because as you can see I'm using the express edition so that obviously means that you'll be fine with the express edition too. You've also got latest news and this is just an RSS feed of some of the latest news about Visual Studio and so that's all for the start page so now we're going to create a new project so just press this button new project here and wait for it to load and then we've got five different choices of projects here Windows Forms applica application WPF application console application class library and browser application most of the time we're going to be using this one and basically this is going to give us a proper UI like any other program and so yeah console application is basically where you have that command prompt the black window with white text and it's horrible and the other ones we probably won't use so Windows Forms application and I'm just going to call this tutorial one and uh, you can uh, name it anything you like press OK this does take quite a lo long time to load okay so I've just skipped through that bit there and here you can see this is what's come up I haven't done anything yet and so here we've got the toolbox as you can see it's got a whole lot of items a lot of this will be quite familiar like buttons checkbox um, things like that labels maybe everything like that so these we can just drag in so we can drag in a checkbox and anything like that and then this is our actual form where we can drag everything in so we can resize this however we like in the solution explorer here we've got all the files that are contained in our project so this is like the folder and then this has all the files inside it and then we've also got the properties window here so as you can see we can change that text to hello and then it changes that text up there or We've got a whole lot of different properties here, but we'll go through those later. So now I'm just gonna, we're just going to create a basic form. And we're not actually going to put any coding into this or anything. So I'm just going to drag in a button. And you can resize that however you like. And we can change the text down here. Make sure the button is selected. And we can change the text to press me. Like that and we can change the size of it here we can change background color so we can set it to red um, fonts full color so this is like the text color so we can set this to white so there we have a whole lot of different properties that we can use and you can explore those on your own and um, you can also style the form so we can change the cursor here so basically what this is going to do is it's going to show that cursor when you hover over something so I can put the cross here 
And now we're going to run our application. So nothing's actually going to happen because we haven't put any code into this. So, but we, we're just going to see this design. So I just press the run button here. And it will just compile it. And here it is. So you see we've got this window with a press me button. And it's also changed the cursor to this kind of cross one. And we've got this button here, but nothing happened. So I'm just going to show you how, how you can edit the code for controls. Oh, by the way, this is known as a control. Everything that you put into your form is known as a control. So if I put a radio button, that's a control. So to edit the code for this, we just double click on the control. And you see it's created this code, button one click. So basically what that means is this code that we put in here is going to happen when we click on button one. And this is known as an event. But I'll show you about all of that in a future tutorial. So each button or each control can have um, some code attached to it. So we can double click on the form. And you see we've got form one load. So basically what this means is when the form is loaded, then this text will ha this code will happen. And again, you don't need to know about that yet. So that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.